Hey, buddy. Say hello. 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 It's early in the morning here in Sarasota, and I'm here for the St. Armand's Art Festival this weekend. The show is close to the beach on Lido Key, so I like to come here before the show opens in the morning and get some quiet time in. I don't get too much quiet time anymore because just over a month ago, early in the morning on Christmas Day, my wife Katie gave birth to a happy and healthy baby boy. We named him Milo, and he has totally monopolized my time over the last month or so. And that's part of why I haven't posted any new videos recently. Timing with his birth worked out really well for my show schedule. We're living in South Florida now and I'm mostly doing shows that allow me to stay home on the weekends and don't require any overnight travel. And a few weeks ago, when he was just two weeks old, Milo went to his first art show when he visited me at the Las Olas Art Fair in Fort Lauderdale. But this weekend I ventured over to Sarasota for the St. Armand's Art Festival while my sister visits from New York to help my wife with Milo while I'm away. It's my first time away from him since he was born and I thought I'd enjoy the quiet time, but as hard as it's been being around someone and being their personal butler for the last month, I'm missing him a lot. Although it was pretty nice to sleep in a hotel room alone and not be woken up every few hours by a crying baby. Okay, so I'm here with my friend and fellow artist, Claudio Toulouse. Um, Claudio is an artist from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and uh, Claudio and I have known each other peripherally for a little while from doing art shows, but I, I got to know Claudio a little bit better recently through his social media because uh, Claudio just recently had a, a baby, and him and his wife had a baby, and uh, I started following him on social media and following that story so it was really interesting to watch another artist who was expecting a baby right before I was go through that process. Um, so Claudio tell me what it's like been uh, traveling on the road away from your new baby because this is my first weekend away from my new baby and it, it's harder than I expected. I thought I would really enjoy being away um, but like 45 minutes into driving here I was like <laughs> I really miss that guy, and you're coming all the way here from New Mexico, and I've seen you down in Florida here now for a couple weeks That's doing right. shows. Yeah. Um, so I know that you're going back and forth to be with your yes. family. So just share with me a little bit about what that experience has been like for you. Absolutely, if you don't mind. man. Well, first of all, thank you everyone for having me. Uh, you know, here I, I absolutely love everything you've been doing. Uh, it's been an amazing journey turning into a father and taking on this lifestyle as an artist and as a traveling person and having a baby. Uh, it's, it's just been the most beautiful thing. It's incredibly hard leaving your little one, you know? But ultimately I know the beautiful thing is that I'm doing all this for her and I'm doing all this for the family, you know? And I'm incredibly grateful to be taking on now. The journey is not just a husband and a musician and an artist, but a father, musician, artist, husband, and it's been beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's interesting what you just said that, um you know, I feel like an added sense of responsibility now in doing these art shows that I have to, not that I wasn't serious before, but I have to be a little bit more serious yes. and a better provider because now I have someone who really depends on me at home and that's a lot of pressure and responsibility to feel and it's been like a, a really good motivator for me. And now I should have mentioned Claudio is a, a multi-talented artist. He's a musician, he's a podcaster, um, sculptor, primarily sculptor, yes. doing a little bit of painting That's too, right. correct? Yeah. And he comes from a family of artists. Claudio's father, Guy Jomet, is a, a really fascinating artist that I've known for quite a number of years now. I think we first met at the Gracie Square Art Show in New York oh, yeah. City. Do you yes, have any hopes or desires that your daughter will grow into an artist one day or? I do, I mean, I, I think both from her grandfather, from me, and from her mother. I mean, she's got art all around her family, not just art, but music. So undeniably, she's gonna be an artistic person in one way or another, you know, and we're excited to see how that is. And even if she picks it all up and then hates it and wants to do something else, that's great too. You know, it's all love, it's all good. <laughs> Again, it's so interesting you say that because I would love for Milo to 
uh, I should also say that your your daughter's name is Raina Soul. That's it, yes sir. Okay. Yeah. I would love for Milo to grow up and be a creative artist, but I'm almost, I'm more excited to learn about him and what his interests are and what he likes and what he gravitates towards and then nurture that because Neither of my parents were artists. I wasn't given a lot of direction in life, and it turns out that's exactly what I needed because no one told me it was a really dumb idea to go hook my camera up on a kite and fly it in the sky and be this <laughs> artist that travels around the country. I feel like if a, a normal nine to five type parent had heard that from their child, they would have hit them in the head with a hammer and told them <laughs> to get a job, but thankfully my parents didn't do that. So I'm really excited for you and for me, yes. raising the, this new generation of children in a nurturing and creative environment and being able to give them the experience that an independent artist can really provide for their family. That's right. I mean, it's a completely new, I think, way of making a living and doing something that we love. And how beautiful is it that we get to welcome a new person into this world and show them, hey, this is an opportunity too. Like, this is an option that you also have. Yeah. Even though if you want to become a doctor, please, I need someone to keep, <laughs> keep me healthy when I'm old. But, right. you know, I'm open to everything and as I hope our children will be as well. Congratulations to you and yeah, your family. You so too, excited, Claudio. Lovely. It's been, it, yeah. it really, it's been nice to get to know you mostly online. And, and it's great to see you now here as yes, a father yeah. in person down in Florida doing art shows. And I uh, look forward to spending time with you on the road and our little ones meeting someday would be really special. I look forward to that, Evan. Thank you so much much. Thanks, Claudia. Another amazing thing that's happened recently, and this may be even more amazing than having a baby, but my YouTube channel here has grown to over 10,000 subscribers, which is so wild to me. I know it's tiny compared to a lot of other channels, but wow, I am so thrilled about this. So thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and supported my channel. I really appreciate it. And I have some really cool ideas for the future of this channel, and I think that everyone's going to like it. So whether you're here because of my art show videos, my travel videos, my kiting videos, photography videos, or whatever, thank you. And if you aren't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now. I'd also love to hear what you want to see more of on this channel. If it's art show videos, travel videos, kite videos, photography videos, family videos, whatever, um, let me know down in the comments. I'll probably just keep doing whatever I want to do, but I'd like to hear it anyway.